get started and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it's surgical pathology system, kindly tell me what are your differential diagnoses for this system? Uh, differential diagnosis, ma'am. Uh, um, <coughs> adult polycystic kidney disease. Okay. Uh, yes. in, or in any kind of renal failure. Okay. All right. Can you tell me if you consider it to be adult uh, polycystic kidney disease, how would the cross pathology be? On there will be yes. enlargement of the kidney with yes. uh, multiple cysts around it. Okay. Can you tell me what is the mode of inheritance of uh, adult polycystic kidney disease? Ma'am, it is occurred due to the autosomal dominant yes. condition and where there is mutation in uh, genes like polycystic kidney disease 1 and polycystic kidney disease 2. Okay. Uh, how is it different from polycystic kidney disease of the child? Um, you have to compare the adult them. one is autosomal recessive one. Uh, child one autosomal recessive child is and the adult recessive. one is yes. autosomal dominant. Good. Uh, can you tell me uh, the pathogenesis behind the cyst formation in case of so here is the tubular cell divided repeatedly yes. and there is <coughs> our pocketing of the tubular wall with the formation of uh, fluid within it and there is progressive expansion uh, which causes uh, the cyst to separate from the parent tubules and okay. that will lead a uh, isolated cyst filled with the fluid and which expands in, um, together with the uh, Transepithelial secretion of the sodium okay. and water into the. Can you please tell me this uh, cyst <coughs> formation can occur in other organs of the body as well? Can you name few organs? Like it can also occur in the liver, uh, brain, yes. pancreas, spleen. Good. Over. Can you name few complications which can result because of the formation or because of the presence of cyst? Like there could be a renal failure. Um, hemorrhage, infections, yes. hypertension. Yes. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, okay. What options can you offer to the patient then? Or in case of patient who uh, has polycystic kidney disease, what are the management options? I will uh, ask the patient for renal transplantation. Right away. Are there <laughs> any other options? Uh, any other management ways that you can manage the patient? Mm, like, um, um, nephrectomy. Okay, can you uh, write? Can you please tell me what is this FTF23 gene? Yes, ma'am. If you can read in the stem, FTF23, what is it? Ma'am, pass. I couldn't understand okay. this one. Can you tell me if it's polycystic kidney disease, then how, uh, what is the mechanism behind that if the patient has raised parathyroid hormones and decreased vitamin D level? 
uh, okay uh, when uh, uh, the um, uh, due to polycystic kidney disease there is the alteration of the tubular function so in a normal kidney there is um parathyroid parathyroid hormone secretion there is uh, absorption of the calcium and phosphorus secretion occurs to the renal tubule as the tubular function is hampered so yes. there is a uh, reabsorption of the phosphate occurs so as well as the renal failure develops uh, due to um loss of tubular function okay can you uh, you said for the sake of polycystic kidney disease you will offer the patient transplantation it's not a simple procedure what are the things that you will consider before you will offer transplantation to the patient renal transplant before the renal transplant i will uh, do the symptomatic uh, management of the patient for the pain i will okay. give him painkiller or uh, to uh, improve the renal conditions i will give diuretics or um, calcium supplementations uh, yes. like vitamin d yes, yes. and yes. and the fluid uh, resuscitations and if the patient's condition and um, what is the most the patient... important thing that you'll consider matching hbo blood yes. matching and HLN, yes, ma'am. Why? ABO blood grouping and yes, imagine among the HLN matching. Yes. Okay, among the HLN matching, which one is more important? HLA DR is the most important. Okay. And HLA A, HLA B, and HLA DR are the most important. What are these? These are the human leukocyte antigens. Yes. What? Yes. Where are they located? What's the they situation? are located on the surface of the WBC, ma'am. All right. Okay. Can you tell me what are the types of rejections that you can expect to occur? Ma'am, there is hyperactive rejection, accelerated yes. acute, acute yes. rejection, and chronic rejection. When is it hyperacute? Hyperacute uh, occurs just uh, in the operation theater table within a minutes. Okay. What is the mechanism of uh, hyperacute rejection? So there is the presence of uh, recipient's antibody against the donor tissue. So when uh, the uh, reaction occurs, there is the activation of the complement, which causes clumping of the red blood cells and the platelets, which leads to uh, decrease of the platelet condition and um, high hemorrhage occurs. So there is a kidney swells and become discolored. uh can you please tell me when would you consider acute kidney rejection when it occurs within 100 days okay uh can you please tell me it is which cell mediation uh which t cell mediated ma'am yes i was thinking of another uh way of asking you okay can you please tell me Uh, what advice would you give to the patient afterwards? After you've done the renal transplant, now what? Patient Hello. Have to, yes, patient would have to take immunosuppressive medications for how long? What med? What advice would you give to the patient? Okay. Uh, after that, I will give the patients uh, advice that. the warning signs of the acute rejections okay. and and the post operative complications and also then uh, ask the patient for underwent uh, chemotherapy for further management and the as the patient is the immunosuppressive there will be chance of some uh, malignancies Uh, so yes. I will warn the patient about this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, tell that about more about the malignancies. Just suppose if patient presents uh, with the redness or in, okay with the swelling or with the redness or with the like, which is not healing. What advice would you give? How would you manage that, ma'am? Okay, what are the locations where? malignancy as a result of uh, taking immunosuppressive medications can result oh, there will be mam skin cancer like squamous cell carcinoma 
then mm-hmm. bronchial carcinoma yes cervical carcinoma yes uh, and uh, lympho proliferative disease like kaposi sar yes lymphoma um, and more susceptible to um, what management can you offer to the patient with uh, these carcinomas i will treat the patient uh, with the antiviral therapy and chemotherapy and first, some immune the most important drug. is you remove the graft first then you take care of okay. that if the graft is okay. there and you're doing all these management nothing will happen can you describe what you're looking at image yes ma'am can you describe the image you're looking at please um this is the pathological kidney which showing multiple cyst around the um, kidney ma'am and describe the cyst they are of different sizes different stages some are the molted yes yes there um, this is a molted and dusky color yes and shrunken shrunken yes okay good 